Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about G2M checkpoint of cell cycle. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in our previous lecture, we have seen how cell cycle works. We have seen cell cycle has interface and emphase. Interface consists of G1, S and G2 phase. Now we are continuing the video series how checkpoints work in cell cycle. So a checkpoint is a stage in cell cycle at which the cell decides whether to proceed or halt. There are four checkpoints in a cell cycle such as G1, S checkpoint, Intra S checkpoint, G2 checkpoint, and spindle assembly checkpoint. In the last lecture, we have already talked about G1 S checkpoint. Intra S checkpoint occurs in S phase of cell cycle. It checks whether any error is still present after duplication of DNA. Just like G1 S checkpoint, this intra S checkpoint is also regulated by ATM, ATR proteins. So today we are interested in the next major checkpoint, G2 checkpoint. This checkpoint acts on the transition from G2 to M phase. Hence it is also called G2 M checkpoint. It checks whether cell is supposed to move on and enter M phase. The complex of cyclin B and CDK1 is responsible to proceed into M phase. If there is no DNA damage, cyclin B and CDK1 bind each other. This complex phosphorylates different proteins in the nuclear envelope resulting in its breakdown. It also phosphorylates certain proteins which promote chromosome condensation and other M phase events. Okay, CDK cyclin B complex also activates Anaphase promoting complex or APC. APC adds an ubiquitin tag UB to securin. When securin is ubiquitin tagged, it is sent to the proteasome for degradation. Securin normally binds to and inactivates a protein called separase. When securin is sent for recycling, separase becomes activated. Separase chops up the cohesin that holds sister chromatids together, allowing them to separate. If any type of DNA damage or something else is present, cyclin B and CDK1 do not bind and the above procedure will not happen and the cell will not proceed toward M phase. So this is all about today's lecture. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you.